Founded in 1845, Portland is the largest city in Oregon, with almost 50% of the state's population living within its metropolitan area. Despite that fact, it is a place that many people don't know too much about, as it is considerably less famous than most of the other cities on the West Coast. This can make it difficult to know where best to stay when you visit, especially if you haven't been before. That's why, in today's video, I will be looking at where to stay in Portland and outlining the best areas. I begin a search in the main business district of the city, downtown Portland. Located on the west bank of the Willamette River, it may not be the geographic center of the city, but it is unquestionably the heart of Portland. As with many downtown areas this is the part of the city where you will find the most going on. Full of bars, shops, restaurants, cafes, hotels and attractions, it is ideal for visitors who have no specific plan and just want to see what the city has to offer. Beyond the obvious though, there are plenty of options for people who have more specific tastes as well. For starters, Portland is also known as Bridgetown due to the collection of bridges in and around the downtown area. Our next destination, the Pearl District, is located immediately to the north of downtown. Formerly an industrial area, it has been slowly being developed since the 80s into the diverse neighborhood that you will find there today. Many of the old industrial buildings still remain, simply having been repurposed to house everything from shops and restaurants to residences and hotels. Some of the shops are even considered to be as iconic as the area itself, such as Powell's City of Books, which has been in operation since 1971. Located immediately to the northwest of the Pearl District, the Northwest District slash Knob Hill area is a largely residential neighborhood, which also has a number of retail opportunities. Many of the buildings display craftsmen and old Portland styles, giving it a traditional and historical feel. The uptown part of the neighborhood features many similar features to those I mentioned in the previous section. However, while the actual amenities may be similar, it is their price and standing that sets them apart. We now move to the central part of the city and an area known as the Hawthorne District. Named after the doctor that founded the first mental hospital in the city, Dr. J.C. Hawthorne, it has become an area filled with amenities like bars, restaurants and shops. It generally has quite a youthful and hip vibe, with the area's own website stating that it is popular with hippies, hipsters and those considered to be Generation X. This makes it an ideal place to stay for any younger visitors to the city. Centered around Alberta Street, the Alberta Arts District was once riddled with crime and a part of the city to be avoided. However, in the last 30 years, it has undergone a dramatic transformation, becoming one of the trendiest districts in the entire city, which is particularly popular among young adults. The South Tabor District is a primarily residential neighborhood, located right to the center of the city. Its name comes from its location at the foot of Mount Tabor, on its southern side. An extinct volcano that stands 636 feet tall, it is one of only six within the limits of a major city anywhere in the United States. A great destination for hikers, it also has a basketball court and an amphitheater near its peak, making it an incredibly unique destination. Our next destination of Boise is located in the north of the city, on the bank of the Willamette River. It is named after Reuben P. Boise, who was a Portland school board member during the 1950s. The area is largely residential, with very little in the way of attractions throughout the majority of it. There is, however, one part of the district that may be worth visiting for tourists, and that is the area known as Mississippi. Located at the southern end of North Mississippi Avenue, it is the place to go for food, shopping, and entertainment, for locals and visitors alike. Located just a short way south of Boise, Lloyd District is a largely commercial area, located on the east bank of the Willamette River. As with any commercial area, it is filled with locations and amenities that will allow you to have a relaxing getaway. The Lloyd Center Mall features 178 stores and outlets spread out over three floors, offering all manner of shopping and dining opportunities that are sure to keep everyone happy. You even have plenty more in the surrounding area, giving you all the choice you could possibly ask for. Our next destination of the Central East Side District is located in the Kearns neighborhood, immediately to the south of Lloyd District. Its name derives from its location in the center of the city, on the east side of the Willamette River. It is one of the oldest parts of the city, first settled by homesteader William Kearns in 1850, just five years after the city was settled. Through the years, Central East Side has been primarily an industrial area, with a large number of factories. Our final option lies in the very north of the city, the area that surrounds the city's international airport. First opened in 1936, Portland International Airport is the busiest airport in Oregon, accounting for between 90 and 95 percent of the state's air traffic, and 31st busiest in the United States. Over the last decade the airport has frequently ranked at or near the top of numerous lists of the best airports in America. 
while its frequent flights and great timekeeping certainly play a role in that, its success can also be attributed to the number of attractions and amenities they have at the site. Portland doesn't get the attention of many of the other major cities on the West Coast, however, it is a great destination for the right person. Hopefully, you will now have worked out where the best area for you to stay is, to ensure your own trip to the city is a success. All that's left now is to go and start getting things booked so you can look forward to experiencing it all for yourself.